Beets are a vegetable that are notoriously despised at dinner tables around the globe. But what if I told you beets may keep you warmer in the cold? When we are subject to cold environments, our body's main goal is to protect our core temperature at around 37 degrees Celsius. In the cold, one of the first things to happen is that the blood vessels in our hands and feet narrow. This concentrates warm blood near our core and helps maintain our core temperature. However, this lower blood flow to the hands and feet will cause a drop in their temperature, increasing the risk for injuries like frostbite. When our hands are exposed to the cold, as indicated by the blue line on the graph, we see a dramatic drop in finger temperature. Interestingly, as the exposure continues, we often see a rise in blood flow to the fingers and a subsequent increase in finger temperature. This continues in a cyclic pattern as the cold exposure progresses and is termed cold-induced vasodilation, or CIVD. Over the last decade, beetroot juice supplementation has become increasingly popular for its blood pressure lowering effects and ability to improve exercise performance with just a single dose. Beetroot juice can cause these wonderful effects because it is rich in dietary nitrate, which can be sequentially broken down into nitric oxide, a molecule that causes blood vessels to relax and open up. So if beetroot juice can do this in the body, we wondered whether it could increase the CIVD response by increasing blood flow to the fingers during cold water immersion. Our team had 10 healthy males each come to the laboratory on two separate occasions, where they consumed either 140 milliliters of beetroot juice or placebo, which was the same beetroot juice only with the nitrate removed. Before immersing the hand in water, we equipped the fingers with sensors to measure blood flow and temperature in real time during the water immersion. In the first portion, the hand was immersed up to the wrist in warm water at 35 degrees Celsius for 10 minutes as a baseline measurement of finger blood flow and temperature. This was followed by 30 minutes of cold exposure at 8 degrees Celsius a temperature and duration of cold exposure that has been shown to be sufficient to cause CIVD. We compared the CIVD response with beetroot juice and placebo by counting the number of CIVD events and by measuring the area under the curve for blood flow and finger temperature. This area under the curve is composed of the duration of the CIVD response and the amplitude, which is simply how much of an increase in blood flow or finger temperature was observed. Contrary to what we expected, we did not see in any impact of a single dose of beetroot juice on finger blood flow or finger temperature during cold water immersion. Overall, it seems like a single dose of beetroot juice does not increase the CIVD response in healthy males, and we'll have to find another way to beat the cold. I hope you enjoyed this fascinating glimpse into the world of environmental physiology. My name is Kate Wickham, and I'm a PhD candidate in the Environmental Ergonomics Lab at Brock University in Canada. If you like this video, hit subscribe and check out our other short environmental physiology videos. For more detailed environmental physiology seminars, be sure to check out our virtual environmental ergonomics series. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.